Richard Hodgkins is an English language consultant from Newcastle who loves to frequent Mick O'Connell's Irish pub in Utrecht when his wife's not watching, of course. He is a huge fan of a music style called Americana. Once I was a carpenter, man, my hands were calloused. I could swing. Since he is a KLM frequent flyer, he is able to often visit his favorite football club, Newcastle United. But I took to the highway, a poet young and hungry, and I left the timbers rotting. <laughs> uh, hello, my name is uh, Richard Hodgkiss, and I'm a language consultant, and I'm a lecturer here at the School of Journalism. Uh, I'm originally from Newcastle, which is in the north of England, and I've been in Holland a long time, but I'm, I think I still prefer speaking English, even though I speak fairly fluent Dutch, and I'm married to a Dutch lady, so uh, I can't speak Dutch. I met a girl a long time ago, a Dutch girl, and I came over to see her two or three times, and after about six months, I decided to come and live in the Netherlands uh, permanently, and since then, I have traded in one lady for another, but I've been with my present wife for a long time. And now, of course, we are dying to find out Richard's opinion on politics in general, and more important, his position on David Cameron's Euro speech and the possible referendum. Well, I, when I was young, I used to be fairly left-wing. Um, now that I'm older, I've probably moved to the right. I'm not a great supporter of David Cameron, and I'm basically a British guy who's a pro-European. Um, I understand politically what he's doing. He's got a lot of pressure from the right wing of his party to uh, possibly renegotiate the British position within Europe. I think the Dutch government, if you gave Mark Rutte the choice, he'd probably do the same if it's beneficial to the Netherlands. I mean, I have a feeling that the Netherlands pays an amazing amount of money to the EU, considering the size of its population. The referendum question is, uh, I'm not a great, I'm not, I'm not very fond of referendums. I think they're populist. Look what happened to the Netherlands last time they voted. I, w I woke up in a, in, a, in a country that had rejected the, the, the constitution a few years ago, and I was quite shocked by it. It was populist. I think if, if they, if, if David Cameron, if, if, not when, if he's re-elected, and he holds this referendum, I think, unfortunately, the majority of the British people will vote to withdraw from Europe, which I, I think would be very sad. Richard? <laughs>